Well, Monica, the National Weather Service says on average, New Hampshire gets about two tornadoes a year. And at this point in July, we've already hit that mark. And guys, the damage here in Lyme consists of a lot of downed trees, some downed wires, but it's mostly the homes that we're seeing that have taken the most serious hit after last night's storms. I mean, it's almost jarring to imagine just how strong those winds must have been to take this massive tree out from the ground, uprooted and have it collapse onto this home here and cause damage to the the roof. We're already seeing some of the cleanup to try to get this tree off of this roof. And of course, now the cleanup across this community is underway. Crews have been out all day today, blocking off roads and sawing off down tree limbs, just clearing pathways and working with homeowners to figure out what happens next. We do know at least four homes right now looking similar to what we're seeing behind me here with trees on their roofs. We know there are at least a dozen homes waiting for their power to return and that there are three roads here in Lyme also now in need of some fixing. We can report though that there have been no injuries in Lyme today after the dangerous lightning and heavy rain from last night. And we did speak to the homeowners here on Whipple Road, and what he tells us he just can't believe this is his reality right now. About the time I got my wife and the dogs in the basement and closed the door, it had pretty much stopped at that point. I mean, it was fast. It was like 30, 40 seconds, and this thing came and went. And when I asked the homeowners what it sounded like, what it felt like when this tree came crashing down from the inside of their house, they told me it sounded like a freight train or like an explosion. So definitely, uh, certainly some scary moments for them that we can imagine. But tonight they tell me they are just thankful no one was hurt. We're live in Lyme tonight. Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.